Chris here from SwapPart.com and uh, do a quick video showing how to uh, test this Y sustain board to uh, determine if it's bad or not. And this isn't going to cover everything. It's going to cover as much as I am capable of uh, explaining at this point. So. Uh, basically, I'm going to tell you how to tell if any of these uh, buffer ICs are bad, and also how to determine if anything under these uh, heat sinks is bad. And uh, as far as any of these ICs and other components, um, I don't have the required information at this point to uh, determine how to test them, so I can't really go into that much detail on them but first thing you're going to need is a digital multimeter and what we're going to start with is the probably most common problem which is the buffer IC is going bad and if you look under each one of these you're going to have these uh, pads where it's it's basically a ground pad where the IC comes through and uh, you're gonna put one of your probes right on one of these pads it doesn't matter which one pick any one you want and uh, I think I'll use the middle one it would just probably be easier and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just rake our probe and it doesn't matter which one Oh, I don't know if I said this yet, but we're on continuity, which is uh, this one right here, so that we get a ring if there's a path to continuity. So, we don't need to see the multimeter, we just need to hear it. So, we're going to rake the pins both sides. And relatively simple and the last one you hear that beep this is bad we have an issue here uh, now, if we actually trace the circuit traces that connect here, where about where we heard the beep, we can determine which IC is bad, which I already knew before I started this. It's this one right here is bad. And uh, this will be getting fixed later. Now, that was simple. Now, this uh, next part is going to be this connector right here. We're going to, uh, what we want to do is make sure that we don't have any shorts between VS and ground or VA and ground or possibly even VA and VS. So, um, let's see. This is your pinout, if you can read it, reading in that order. So it's going to be pin one. I think it's one. Now pin pin six and five are VS, then four is ground, three is VG, um, three, wait a minute, what am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, VS, VS, ground, VG, ground, and VA. It's uh, six pins all together. I just I lost count there for a second. Um, so, obviously we're going to have continuity between the two VS pins, and we're going to have continuity between the two ground pins. What we don't want is continuity between ground and VS. And you might get a momentary beep, and that's fine. Uh, if a capacitor is charged, then uh, there will be momentary continuity, but once it's gone, you'll get nothing after that. And um, I think I can even reverse, yeah, see, I can even reverse the probes and get that momentary uh, 
deep and that that right there is nothing to worry about it's if you hear a, a constant beep after that then you have a short um it's just reversing the probes it causes a capacitor to charge up so while it's charging the current you can flow so so okay we've established then that vs is fine and now we're going to go to VA, which is this one, and we don't have any, see the same thing. We don't have any shorts between VS and VA. We still have that momentary beep if we switch the probes, but that's fine. And then finally, um, making sure that we don't have a short between... Um, ground and VA and of course I just realized that throughout this whole thing my hand is blocking what I'm doing so uh, sorry about that let's try this again all right so again let's try this again VS and ground we got no continuity this is good Okay, VS and VA, no continuity. This is good. VS and VG, we've got no continuity. Okay, that's good. Ground and VG, no continuity. This is very good. And finally, ground and VA, no continuity. It's not beeping, it means, which is good. And then... Of course, VG and VA, we also have no beep, so we're good. Now, if you had a short on there between ground and VS, now you also run the risk of your X sustain also being damaged because of the way uh, they're connected. Uh, short on one can cause the other to short out, so... At that point, you would also want to pull your uh, your X sustain and uh, make sure you didn't have any shorts there on the connector. And again, as I said, uh, that's not addressing the possibility of uh, this IC. Where is it? This IC right here, which commonly fails and. Uh, I don't know which one the other one is offhand. It might be this, I think it's this little one up in here too. But, um, so yeah, that's not addressing those issues. But I think they fail a lot less commonly. And uh, I think actually when they do fail, it has more to do with this, uh, the VS short in the ground. So. I wouldn't really, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that for now. But, the purpose of this video was simply to try to help you to make sure that you don't get the wrong part. Because, uh, well, it doesn't solve your problem and it's not very good for me either. But of course, if you do order the part and it turns out not to be the right part all you got to do is let me know and uh, I don't have an issue except in returns and uh, even even as far as restocking fees go usually I you know I have them in the listing to try to prevent people from uh, ordering just by guessing but I'm not gonna charge somebody 25% of $200, you know, I mean, at that point, if you ordered the wrong part, all you got to do is just ask me and I'll reduce that to the point where it just covers my ship shipping and packaging materials, you know, it's, it's never a problem doing that, it's, communication is key, so, uh, that's about it, you know, uh, I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps and good luck with your TV.